As we've been watching these winds, we've seen those gusts over 30 miles per hour this afternoon. They have subsided a little bit. We're still gusting over 20 miles per hour. You can see uh, where uh, Newell Drive is located. You can see American Canyon Drive. But overall, the winds have been coming from the north northwest. And so that's a dangerous wind at this time. You're seeing those winds travel along the mountains here. Of course, it's going to interplay with the topography, probably begin to twist in and around some of the mountain topography here. But you're seeing these winds blowing in this direction and so yeah the fire certainly has a chance to spread into some of the urban areas in and around that area so that's why they are currently uh, evacuating some of those areas uh, just to the east of 29 there as uh, those areas are the places that are closest to that fire and can be affected in and around that fire now the winds are going to continue to uh, switch around even though we're seeing more of a uh, northerly component to that wind uh, there's nothing to say that all of a sudden we can't see a quick dry burst of a northeasterly wind and then all of a sudden you've got a whole nother problem that starts to bring that fire back in this direction and so that's what we don't want to happen we haven't seen that happen just yet but that's certainly the possibility in these kind of conditions and that would bring that right back in to many of the urban areas in and around those homes extremely dangerous fire conditions uh, continuing there as we head through the evening hours with that active fire and more winds expected overnight tonight now not only there we are seeing strong gusty winds across the entire Bay Area in fact, across almost all of California, that northerly wind has kicked in. This is traditionally that time of year where historically we've had seen some of our worst fires in the Bay Area and in California as some of those fires are quick to uh, get going. And once they start, they can spread quite rapidly in these kind of conditions. And to couple with that, of course, we've got the drought and uh, years and years of all that uh, fuel kind of building up in many of these areas. So red flag warnings, you bet posted up across much of the Bay Area in the North Bay into the East Bay also now including the Santa Cruz Mountains expecting those gusty winds maybe as high as 60 maybe 70 mile an hour gusts I think across some of the mountain peaks near Napa and St. Helena possibly toward the Diablo range overnight tonight but it has been very gusty all around the Bay Area in fact here's the very latest forecast on some of those winds expecting those winds to continue tonight. Now, it's going to be interesting. Down below in some of the urban areas, those winds may back off just a little bit. Now, that said, look at all that purple that begins to show up uh, there no just northeast of Napa. Those are some of those stronger winds, those offshore winds likely to develop across some of the mountaintops there, uh, 50, maybe even 60, maybe even 70 mile an hour gust across some of those mountain ranges. That continues overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. It may subside just a little bit. In fact, uh, may back off just a little bit as we head in toward the middle of the morning and then all of a sudden it starts to ramp back up again about 10 o'clock or so another impulse of strong gusty dry air rolls back into the Bay Area and that will keep the fire danger uh, going not only in the North Bay but also in the East Bay and into the Santa Cruz Mountains as well I think by the afternoon things finally will begin to subside as it looks like those winds will become more westerly and that means we'll start to see more of a uh, moisture content that runs a lot higher from that ocean air that should begin to uh, subside any of the fire danger around the Bay Area. But right now, it looks like exceeding fire danger throughout the night tonight and in through the day tomorrow. I think by tomorrow afternoon, we can breathe a sigh of relief. But tonight, there is an active fire and dangerous fire conditions continuing around much of the Bay Area. Guys, back to you. Lord.